everyone welcome back to the channel i am back with very interesting sql problem and i will solve this problem using two method one is normal life one is mentos life when i say mentos life it means some cool trick to solve a question okay so we have a ipl table in this right where we have for each match each ball so if there are 240 or 250 balls in a match we will have a 250 or 240 rows in the table for that match and we can have multiple matches so for each ball we have the match id ball number who is the batter who is the bowler how many runs they got and the overs 0 0.1 0 0.2 and then 1.1 1.2 that way right what we need is that we need to find how many matches were played by each player right how many matches were played by each player and in how many of these they batted and in how many of these they bowled right so for example, let's take our example, Devon Conway. So first we have to find that there will be different match IDs, right? So this is match ID one. So for another match, there will be match ID two. So we have to find Devon Conway has played how many matches. That is my first column. So Devon Conway, first, second column will be that he played the five matches. Then out of five matches in how many matches he batted, right? That we will find from the batter column. And he, in how many matches he bowled, we will find from this column, right? Now, there is a possibility a player has only has done batting, right? So, he will not never be there in the bowling column. Or if there is a bowler who has always bowled, right? So, he will never be there in the batting column. So, that, that possibility is there, right? So, I will move on to SQL Server and show you how to do it. Before I go there, I just want to announce my upcoming Analytics Engineering Bootcamp. This is a 18 weeks live bootcamp program. We will have classes on weekend, Saturday, Sunday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. IST, right? In this program, we will be covering all the aspect of analytics. We will start with SQL. Then we will dive into data modeling, data warehousing. Then we will learn Snowflake, right? We will various features of Snowflake. We will build a data warehouse on Snowflake. And we will learn about a lot of uh, kind of, you know, STD tables, big, ta big table and all of those things. Then we will move on to data build tool, which is really cool thing that I have learned recently. So I just want to share all of my knowledge with all of you, right? And then we will end it with Power BI, right? You can check the curriculum here. So for each of this, you can just click and see the syllabus, right? So you can see what all things will be covered for all the five modules. You cannot select and register for individual modules. The only option you have is you can register for the first module separately which is sql which includes data modeling and data warehousing so if you go there you can see the curriculum and you can register for it separately but for other modules you will have to register for the entire bootcamp only okay and there is an early bird offer going on so and for any one of this for example for this one when you go to checkout by now you can just use early bird offer so you can say early bird and you will get 15% discount. This offer is valid for another three days. After that, it may come down to 5% or 10%. Currently it is 15%, right? So you can check out the curriculum. It is going to be very extensive bootcamp. We will cover everything end to end and it will be a lot of fun. Okay, great. Let's move on to the problem now. So here is my data. So we have the cricket mass table and this is the expected output. So if you see, this has row for each ball, right? And in the expected output for each player, we are saying total matches. This guy has played total two matches. Out of that, in both the matches, he has done batting. And only in one, he has done bowling. For example, Ambati Raidu, he has not done bowling, so it is zero. Similarly, if you look at the Brett Lee, he has not done batting in any of the match. And then yes, they are also, right? So we have all kind of combination. Ritu Raj has played four matches and in... In all four matches, he has done batting and bowling, right? So it is not actual data. Uh, it is some dummy data, but it works on actual data as well. Okay. Now what we will do, we will solve it using normal life first. Okay. Now what I need first is I need the list of all the players because some players will be there only in better column. Some players will be there in only bowler column, right? So I'll say select better from cricket match right and let's call it as as player right so this will give me all the player from better and i will do union right 
and I will say give me from the border column right and when I do union it will remove duplicates so if I just run this you will see there are the multiple times because there are multiple rows for each player so when I do union I will get list of all the players from here you see right and along with that I will get the match ID as well here so this will be used to get the total number of matches so I will say comma match ID right so for each player each match ID combination we will have multiple rows right so for example Aljari Joseph match ID 3 he has played and then match ID 4 also is played and whatever right now what we will do on top we will write a simple select statement select right from let's create a sub query to get the total number of matches played right I can just do count of distinct match ID and I will get the total number of matches played so I will say select player from and this is my sub query from is done right group by player now with this query I get the list of all the players as well as total number of matches played so i can just say count of match id i already have distinct values so i don't have to do count distincts because this union is removing the duplicates anyway right count of match id as total matches played right so this query is giving me two things one is the list of all the players and total number of matches played right now here we have some error uh, with all players is not a okay I think some other CT is there fine let's run this okay so we have got the right out right now let's move on what we will do we will create a CT of this we'll say with all players as this so this will give me all the players and along with that it is giving me total matches played right now what I will do I will let another query to get for each baller for each player how many in how many matches he has done batting so this is select star from cricket match right and what I will do now I will use this batter column and I will say select batter comma count of sorry count of distinct match id right so this will give me matches batting matches or let's say batting matches batting matches right from this group by batter right so if i just run this one right it is not dependent on the ct so i will get that aljari joseph has done batting in two matches right Shivam Dubey has done batting in one match. Dhrituraj Gaikwad has done batting in four match, right? And from here, I am getting list of all the players along with total matches played. So if I do a left join here, right? Because some players might not be there in this who have not done any batting. So I will have to do left join between all players and this query, right? To get the number of batting matches for each player, right? So let me do it. So I'll say select from all players right let's call it ap right and i will write ap dot star comma and i will do a left join on this left join you can create a ct also of this query anything is fine i'm just doing a, a, a sub query and let's call it bat right and from here i'll say bat dot batting matches right this is what i need first class okay great and I will say on here I will have to write the left join condition on ap dot player equal to bad dot better right if I do this join and if I run the query now I should get the three columns right player total matches played and in how many matches this player has done batting right if someone has not done batting it is coming as null we will convert it to zero later but for now we are good right next same I will do a join again but this time I will use the baller column right so I will say left join and I will say baller right as baller matches 
right and then i will just do a group by on baller here let's call it bow and the joint condition will be bow dot sorry bow dot baller right now joint condition I, I have to change because i am again joining this ap table with the balling wala table right so if i just run this again okay okay i have not selected the column so let's select the column bow dot uh, baller matches right this is what we need great great so if i just run this i have got almost the answer right uh, it is just that i need to convert nulls to zero otherwise if you see we have got player total matches played batting in how many matches and bowling in how many matches right it is perfectly fine if you want to convert to zero wherever null is there very simple just say coalesce zero as batting matches right you can do it for the baller matches as well i am not doing it okay so if i just run this now it is absolutely fine right zero zero here it is null right uh, okay great so this is my normal life normal solution little bit lengthy it looks multiple sub queries ct let's try to simplify and do a trick using mentos life solution okay now what i will do let me again say select star from cricket matches cricket match right okay so again if you see i have the similar thing what i will do i will say select match id comma not match id i'll say better right i need all players first of all so i will do a similar setup what i did here but little bit changes i will do so i'll say select better comma match id this we we did in here as well right we did here as well right so if you see better match id we did right so now one more thing i will say i will so i i'm doing union but what i will say this is batting match id right this is bat batting match id in which match he did batting right this is because i am taking better right similarly i will take select baller right match id as baller match id or bowling match id okay now why i am doing it i have to do union right but 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 this will mix up things so what i will do i will create one more column here and put it as null as bowling match id right because in these matches when i'm taking better i'm taking better column right i will get match ids in which he has done batting and i will not get match ids where he will get bowling he has done bowling right now from this query he will get we will get all the matches of a player where he has done bowling right so the batting match id will be null from this query right so just, just just hold on with me so this will be null right now i can do union okay and, and let me show you what will happen okay so if you see for each player i have get got that these are the innings two innings in which he has done batting and this is the inning in which he has done bowling right so now what i will do i will maybe create a ct with ct as this right now let me run the query select star from ct right if i run it now it becomes very simple now i'll just show you okay so this is my batting match id bowling match id now if i just do group by okay group by player and count of batting match id count of bowling match id right then let's let's call it as player right as player i will get the two things but i need one more column total number of matches for that i will create one more column the coalesce of these two columns right so i will say comma coalesce right i will say batting match id comma bowling match id as match id right so if i just run this now i have three columns now in this everything else is null apart from where 
he has done the batting right in this column wherever he has done bowling those are there in that everything is there either he has done bowling or batting because we have done coilless right great now it is simple i just have to say group by player right and here again player okay and i will say count of let me just put semicolon yeah count of now this i have to do distinct because in the same match he can do bowling and batting both so in this column we might have duplicates so i will say count of distinct this as total matches played right perfect and now you know count of batting match id as batting matches right and similarly count of bowling match id as bowling match matches this becomes this this makes our query very simple right so if i just run this we have got the same output if you see al jai you have two matches played in two he has done batting in one he has done bowling right so now now things are simpler we have reduced this query a lot right and this looks very clean as well uh, because we have just one ct and just some aggregation functions the the trick here is to use coles function to get the total matches played okay i hope this helps if you think you have a better solution in terms of understanding or it is a easy solution or shorter solution let me know in the comment section i will have a look and respond to you thanks for watching till here have a great day